friends, welcome back. I hope you already have an amazing day so far. And for everyone who sees me for the first time, welcome. My name is Yanni and I'm doing this all about Christmas channel. On this channel, you will find lots of Christmas inspiration all year round. But of course, also from January until June, we are going to do on every Wednesday other seasonal decor. So enough to see. I hope you like this content. And if you do, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. For today, I'm going to make from Tommy Tower Blocks three new stands with some snowman head on top of it. So we will see how this will turn out. I hope you come along with me. Let's go. For this DIY, we are getting out our tumbling tower blocks again. So I hope you have them also laying around and join me in this DIY. Our blocks are ready. We are going to make first our own little stand. We are going to take three blocks and we're just going to glue them together like this just three on flat because you also can turn them over but i do them on the flat side just you have to glue on the smaller one like this and i have to squeeze it and remove the glue again like this this is already the bottom of our stand now we are going to go we are going to go glue one side like this and we are going to glue the other blocks against it like this. And I show it to you right now like this. It's very easy. We are going to get another block and we are going to glue this side. And we're going to place it against it like this. So we get a nice square. And now we gluing this side. And a little small side of this one. And then we can place the other block in between, like this. And now we already have our own little square. We made it in an, an earlier video also. I really love this kind of blocks. It gives a very steady base. And we are going to glue it on top of here, like this. Place it down. And you really have the small size of our base. We're going to make three, a medium and a large. So like this, this is already the smaller one. And now with some music uh, under it, you will see me making this one, the, the bigger one, the medium one and the large one. For everyone who enjoys to see it step by step again. They are already, all three of them are already, like I said, the smaller one, the medium and the large. And I am really loving how they turned out. But you say, what can we do with this? I have really no idea. <laughs> but we're going to try. We are going to now to make tops for the little stairs. For the top, we are going to try to make some snowman's head. And we are going to make, the first one is very easy. And I'm going to make it with you because it is 
again the same way like we made our small stand so that's a very easy one and the other one i will do a little bit fast forward with some music so you can see it step by step like this you have already your three blocks we are going to do again the easy one glue it together like this and squeeze this one a little backwards so you have a straight line like this again over here and it is the same like we did a while ago a while ago just a couple of minutes ago like this and we are going to glue this on top of here like this again and we are going to glue it on top of here and with a little imagination you see already that it is a snowman's head because if you imagine that this will be black and we are going to do a little a red a velvet um, a ribbon over it and we are going to give it some greenery and then we are going to get it fitting on top of this small stand but of course we also need head for the bigger one so the medium i will do this way it's very easy we are going to glue two together we need four of two this is one we are going to do the second one like this and squeeze it and remove the glue you see already my glue gun is already smoking i don't know <laughs> he's doing that all the time i don't know why he's doing this maybe the other glue guns also do it i don't know mine is always smoking but he glues very great so if you like this glue gun you can buy him very cheap at the lidl or lidl just how you call it we have already four pieces right now and we are going to i need to remove that glue because or else i'm going wrong with gluing i'm going to do one line this way and we are going to glue this one also together like this squeeze it and you see already we have two and we do, did it on this way now we're going to do glue on this way and we're going to place it again against each other like this and be sure that you have it in a right angle like this or else the last one is not fitting anymore so we are going to do it on top of this one and a little line over here and i need some glue like this a small line and we can place the second one in between like this squeeze it and keep it in place and now you already have your top of your head and what we're going to do we are going to make the bottom of the snowman's head and this is also very easy to do a little dot of glue this way place this one against each other like this and we're also going to make a square again glue this end place this one against each other like this and i have to be sure because i have some glue under my space like this and now we need the last one and it's also very easy just do the tops and a little drop over here and then you can place also this one very easily inside like this and now you already have your square it's so easy to make and you can make it very fast so it's also nice to do with children or grandchildren and now we're going to glue it on top of here of course give some glue on the edges like this and now you're going to place it in the middle and i hope i have it in the middle i have to look for it but i don't have it the wrong way like this and now you already have a nice head and of course we will do something with the top but 
we have already the base of our first one and already the base of our smaller one so we have a smaller a medium now we only need the bigger one for our uh, large one we are going to make the same bottom like we did with the medium size and of course this is like i said is very easy just do a little drop of glue over here just place it against each other so we make the sides of our head like this do something on the top from this one place your blocks against each other like this and now we only need the one in between and you see already i am totally under the glue but that's not <laughs> not uncommon for me that's very normal <laughs> because like this and do some glue over here and I have to glue it this way, squeeze it and keep it in place for a little moment. And you have already your first bottom of your snowman's head. We are going to go again four blocks of two because the blocks have the sizes that you don't can uh, build it out uh, one more time. To make a bigger one so i'm going to go in the height so i'm making it higher than the medium one but of course if you have the blocks with the same uh, measurements then you are great because mine are not that measurement so i read it three of them and now i need the other one so we already have our first layer of our head again we're going to place it against each other like this. Keep it in place for a little moment. And also the bottom. Don't forget the bottom that he is the same like this. I'm going to go in this side. And we're going to glue this one like this. And now we only need the side from this one. And I hope it's fitting because I see that I did go wrong a little bit uh, sideways. So I hope you will fit in like this. So I have to help him for a little moment. And you see, this is already the first bottom. We are going to do again four pieces of two. And I understand for people who don't like to see this step by step, just skip forward like I always say, because you are so free to do. Of course, I do hope you don't and that you enjoy seeing how I make this experiment because I am doing it <laughs> the way that I think it, it's in my head. So I have no idea if it will look okay or not, but we will, we, we will get this at the end. So like this and again you always have something that you never saw before because it's always a little bit strange like this and we are going to glue this one and against each other and I have to get it right. And I let it dry and now we need the top and a small line over here. And the last one we're going to get placed in between like this. And now I have to squeeze it and remove the glue. And now I hope that they both are fitting. You see now we have two of them and now I'm going to glue them on top of each other and I hope <laughs> that they are the same size. Of course, they will be the same size, but that I did glue them right or else you will see it. Maybe this is better to get it straight on top of each other. Like this. And I have to squeeze it. And now we're going to glue it 
on the bottom and of course I do a little bit more glue and I try to get it even and now we have three different sizes of heads and of course it looks very strange right now but at the end I hope it will look like three, three, three snowman heads so I am going to go find something for the tops. For the tops of our snowman's head, we are going to take just a piece of old uh, cardboard. And I take a little bit of the thinner one. You can see already here is very thin because I only need to, uh, a little layer on top of here. Just like this, I'm going to measure out, cut it out and make squares for on top of each uh, head. I have already for all three of them the little uh, top for on um, here. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to do some glue on the blocks around it, like this, and just place your cardboard on top of here and remove the glue which is popping out because we don't want that. And so you see, you already have a nice ending of your snowman's head, at least what supposed to be <laughs> look like in a snowman's head. So like this glue it and we are going to do the last one the middle one and like this and again place it on top and now we are almost ready to paint of course we are going to paint all three of them in the black color we are going to do the stand in the furniture racks at least i am doing in the furniture racks you can do and the color you like because do whatever is fitting for your decor so i'm going to do this in the black and i'm going to take for the bigger stand i'm going to take two little children's blocks i always have also laying around i am going to glue two on top of each other like this but you also can make a piece of cardboard and just we are going to use later to make a little tag out of it so like this squeeze it and I remove the glue and now we have a nice little tag for on top of our stand I have to show it to you this way a little bit higher later and he, we, we no <laughs> here we do some text uh, on top of it but first we are going to do everything in the furniture racks and paint I it. turned over my placemat and I'm going to uh, like I said take the black but I am going to use the school board uh, black paint because I like the matte finish always but if you are here already for a long time you know I really love the color of this black so I'm going to paint all three of them in the black color but I won't bore you with that so we will do it a little bit faster light than this <laughs> The heads are already in the black um, scoreboard paint and now I'm going to take my e uh, cheap uh, brand of uh, furniture wax. I use it already for a long time and you do so, lo so long with one of your jars. So I'm going to do this in the furniture wax, all three of them and the tag also this piece but I don't do the back side of this one because or else it doesn't glue on top of our stand anymore so and you see i like the rustic look it gives when you do some furniture wax on top of here so like this so i will finish all three of them in the meantime while our uh, heads snowman's head are still drying we are going to take this little tag what i'm going to do i always have laying around in my home this kind of uh, letters so i'm going to try to make a let it snow on top of here so I will do my best to get it as even as I can but I think you already know how stickers work so I'm going to do this out of camera and I'm going to try to or else it will take so long for you <laughs> so I will let it snow but you can do any uh, text you like but I will do let it snow you see already our little tag is finished and I know you see it backwards so <laughs> it it's really says let it snow but in the end review you see the right way because it's just my telephone I have my three heads and they are dried up right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of velvet ribbon and I'm going to go around the head and I'm going to do it down 
on the end of the, our head and I'm going to make one line of a velvet ribbon on top of here. I placed you in a little bit different position because I want to show you one of the heads I will uh, decorate with uh, some green with the other ones also but I will do that out of camera. What I did I cut out a pieces of boxwood. This is just a big garland and I just rip everything off like this. You just pull it off and you always can make it shorter and longer the way you like it. And I have some greenery it's a little bit like Christmas greenery. This is from a tree. I don't know the name in English for this pineapple tree, maybe, if I am correct. At least I am, did cut out two little pieces of the tree. And of course, this one also I made a little bit shorter. What I'm going to do, I have to look with the back side. I am going to give some glue on the back side of this greenery. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place it a little bit sideways. I'll show you in a moment. Don't worry. Like this and I keep it in place for a little moment. So a little bit this way up. And I'm going to do the other one down. Like this. It is very easy. I always love a little bit of greenery because it gives your display a nice look like this and i squeeze it until it is dried up and now we're going to place over the back side we are going to do on the tips a little bit of glue not too much like this and i'm going to do one over the other like this just place it over inside of here and keep it in place for a second i hope you can see it and i Wait until this dry. That's really important. Wait until it is dry because if you um, let it go too soon, then your piece is falling apart. And that's not what you may want. Again, the little smaller one also. So you have two of each. And of course, you can go as crazy as you like. But I like a little bit more the neutral and place it in between. And also, again, squeeze it in the middle and in a moment I show it to you a little bit better like this. But also I have to wait also for when it's dried up. And you can do some berries in between, some red berries. I like a little bit of the neutral touch, so I don't do that. So you see, and now he is. I really love my snowman head. Easy, simple, but I am loving it, so I will do the other You two. see, I did go <laughs> later for the berries because I was missing a little bit of the coloring red. So I just did uh, two little uh, berries on top of here. So and I think he is really nice right now. What I'm going to do, of course, we are going to place them on uh, their stands. And we still need to glue the tag. And I do the tag on the little bit sideways on the bigger one so that's very easy to do so go it a little bit sideways i have to get my glue gun of course and i will place them a little bit over here so i don't do some glue on top of them so i will do a drop of glue like this and i hope it sticks because this one is in the furniture wax the back side not but most of the time you always have to be very careful if it stays in place or not so I have to get away with it so like this and now we already have our stand and on this stand is coming the bigger head like this so we are going to get this one on top of here I have to make sure that my and what I'm going to do because you see already the underside he is perfectly fitting inside of here so I can do some glue on top of here and then glue it together so I will do glue on this top like here and I'm going to go some glue inside like here so I am sure that it stays in place so at least we hope it stays, <laughs> it stays in place so I have to be very sure 
that he will gluing okay. So I will do the rest and then I show you. And here you see the end reveal of our homemade from Tumblr towel block stand with a snowman hat on top of it. I don't even have a name for it, so I really have no idea. Let me know uh, down below in the comments what you think is a great name for it. So in a moment I show it to you a little bit closer. But for now, thank you so much for being here and spending a little moment of your day together with me. I had so much fun making it and of course it's always a little bit of craziness around here so but I hope you enjoy it. If you do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you will find the link down below in the description box. There you also find the link for Diana Mai Deco Easy main channel so go ahead check it out for more DIYs. Enough talking I wish you all a beautiful beautiful day. Stay safe see you next time. Bye.